Um, I do know that I want to be, I want to be like the rest of them. I want to be, want to be just like this. Look at these people. Oh, the reaction posts are the same. I want to watch this. Want to explore. Be a face on the side of the door with infinite glee. I want this to be me to react to your world. <laughs> this could be me, chat. I already do this. I might as well go in. By the way, if I, I, I okay, here we go. How's that? Here we go. That good? I'm trying to do a reaction facing. <laughs> if I'm one of the few, I'll be too much. doesn't uh, hoard uh, tabs. I do pretty good at keeping them at bay. Oh, this is your new life. Uh huh. Good no news. What's up? I, just I, got a new I can't and hear you. Ooh. I literally Ooh. can't Ooh. hear you. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Would you like what? to see some pictures of my cock, Silsense? What? I don't get it. You just couldn't hear a word you said. I get DMCA. I mean, hold on. I mean, we might get DMCA. Let's find out. Chat. I want to be like just. I, just, I want to be just like this. I want to be just like this. This could be me. All right, let's do it. Fine. I want to be like everybody else. I want to react to this video. Blizzard Entertainment. We love Blizzard here, Chat. We love them. We love them. Uh, this is by Big Boss. All right, Big Boss. What do we got? The year is 2023. All right, pretty rough year. And a once beloved game developer's reputation is in absolute freefall. True. What was True. at one point probably the highest rated developer in the industry? I, I I admit I admit there was a time where I wanted I wanted to work for Blizzard. In my youth, I wanted to become a coder and work for Blizzard. Yeah, I'll admit that. I'll admit that around around Burning Crusade, Lich King area. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I I absolutely admit that. Yeah. A studio that pumped out classic. Yeah, Tides of Darkness, dude. Dude. Oh God, Frozen Throne. All such bangers, dude. You probably shouldn't. No, not now. After classic. Not now. It's now become the home. <laughs> Incomprehensible <laughs> horror. Yep. Oh Corporate yeah. Corporate greed. Diablo and wait, what is this? Twenty eight hundred. What am I reading here? Wraith Lord Prestige Equipment and Cosmetics. Thirty four bucks for an outfit. Broken promises. Uh, talents. Oh right, the yeah yeah yeah. Okay. Botched releases. Warcraft Three Forge. Oh right, that came out too. I forgot about that. Stolen breast milk. <laughs> that is. I will never forget how insane that is. Holy shit. This Holy is shit. the story. Holy shit. Blizzard Entertainment. Yay, let's go, Blizzard! The shell of the formal selves. Hooray! Assembly hollow buzz. Oh. A time to be alive. Look at that. A piece of history right here, chat. That could be us. The year is 1991. Oh, good year. Three guys have just graduated from the University of California. Okay. Alan Adham, sure. Michael Morhaime, yep. and Frank Pierce. Sure. They get together to create a game development studio in Irvine called Silicon and Synapse. <laughs> okay. The name is deeply philosophical and yeah. well thought out. With Silicon representing yeah, the building block of a computer, exactly, exactly. and Synapse, the building block of a brain. Nice. Nice. However, people keep mistaking the silicon part for the material in breast implants. <laughs> I mean, fair. Anyway, yeah. yeah. They spent the first few years porting games to different systems, but soon begin producing their own original games. Okay. With the Lost Vikings in 19... Whoa! What a... Th dude, I forgot about this. I, I, I played this game out of curiosity. I, I was not able to play when it came out, obviously, but I played this game out of curiosity. Whatever, Mew. Nah. 1992. And Rock and Roll Racing in 1990. Never heard of this. 93. Eventually... They get sick of constantly being mixed up with women's breasts. So they decide to <laughs> Ironic. switch things up. Ironic for the future. Their name to Chaos Studio. That's... Damn, dude. Yikes. That's cringe. <laughs> I mean, early 90s chat. This, this is pretty on brand. However... A company based in Florida already has the trademark. Uh, and they're now asking for $100,000. Damn! Hmm. They then decide to change the studio's name to Ogre Studios. Uh, okay, it's better. Is that your logo for real? Uh, 90s. It's the early 90s. Early 90s. Ogres? Dude, it could have been called... Uh, ugh. 
Okay, gross. Next. But in 1994, they're acquired by a holding company for a few million dollars. Okay. And turns out, their new owners aren't a fan of the new name. I don't buy them. Okay. I don't buy so them. So they flip through a dictionary. <laughs> oh my god. Stupid. There it is. <gasps> Whoa! In 1994, Blizzard releases their first self-published title. Yep. A real-time strategy yep. game yep. called yep. Warcraft Orcs and Humans. Such a... F oh man. Those noises... Like a fine wine, dude. And it's an instant success. Yeah, no, no doubt, it's bro. It's one of the earliest real-time strategy games to hit shelves, mm -hmm. and it's a blast. It Love also that has sound. a modem and LAN multiplayer. Oh yeah, dude, take me back, dude. Transport me back to the good days, the good days of my youth, of the ignorance. Take me into the void. I want to return. <laughs> Let me back. Meaning people can get together and go ham. Yes! And the game does well. Right. Selling a hundred thousand uh, uh, Exactly! Time. Holy shit. For the first time, wow. Blizzard Entertainment is profitable. Yeah. They follow it up with Warcraft 2 in 19... Yeah! The Tides of Darkness! <laughs> so cool, dude. Look at these... Gra dude, okay. Say what you watch at. This shit... Look how cool this is. Look how cool this looks, guys. Like, seriously. Look how, look how sick this is. This is badass right here. This is badass. 1995. It's another home run. Of course, it's a rule. Be acclaimed, and now selling over a million copies. Jeez, I'm be wow! My first strategy PSX. That's fair. I miss the days of uh, playing Diablo One on my uh, Windows 8 computer and got signed an educational once at school. Oh my god, you're taking me back to the time loop. First year. That's crazy. Nice, nice. It's now 1996. Okay. And the company called Condor Games yep. is looking for a publisher for their nearly complete game, Diablo. Oh my god, dude, I'm being swept away. I'm gonna cry. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. Oh, there it is. There it is, baby. There it Blizzard is. It has a little look, and they like it. I like too. So they buy them and rename them Blizzard North. Nice. It's also at this point that Blizzard notices something. What's that? Warcraft 2 had picked up a lasting online player base. Yeah, they're liking the universe. They're liking the world. Uh-oh, stinky. I'm not doing that gaming. No, I'm not. Mostly through third-party networks that connected players over this magic new thing called the internet. <gasps> so they decide to make their own. Okay. Battle.net. It's oh! <laughs> Wait, really? Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't know that it goes that far back. 996? Damn, I thought Battle.net was... Uh, 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 all right, damn. No, that's right. Because you have to have a lot... Whoa, dude. Blast from the past, bro. Literally forgot. Bam! That's cool. Its original functionality is very simple. Sure. With the ability for players to chat to each other. Dude! Take me back! Ah! It's fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, we're fine. When games were good. Back when games were good. Back when games were good, back in my day. And search for a match. Sure. But on December 31st, okay. 1996, it launches alongside Diablo. Played directly over the internet, ever changed in gothic world, brought to you in life by SVGA, Ni Windows 95. Dude, love it. And people log on and play. Yep. Diablo is a massive hit. No shit! Also it's selling over a million copies within its first year. What, first off, old GameStop logo? Gross. But also, yeah, the game was phenomenal. Sensational, even. Game-changing. Literally one of the, the best games of all time. In 1998, Blizzard launches StarCraft. And never got into it. I play. I played them all. Never got really into it. I get. I get the appeal. It's a fantastic RTS. Oh, fa fantastic universe. Fantastic RTS. I get it. But I never got into it. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. I, I get it. I get it. But I never got into it. An RTS set in space. Yep. It sells bigly. Yep. And quickly grows a massive esports scene. By the way, the fact that Blizzard hasn't made a StarCraft three and just completely like abandoned their starcraft player base is insane to me that it was literally one of the most like popular pop i have i do not know I, i've never seen a more dedicated group of people than starcraft players and i will never financially understand why they just decided well okay bye like they they i do not get it it was so huge literally the RTS. They dominated the RTS world for a long time. I will never get it.
Uh, Corpus and Corporal, Corpus and Corporal. Diablo 2 launches in Nice! Another smash hit. Yeah. Diablo yep. 2 is also one of the best games ever. Diablo 2 was like the dude. Diablo 2 is, I think, obviously, I don't, I, Diablo 3 is mid. Diablo 2 was the, the last Diablo game that, like, got it. You know? They got the formula. They got the vibe. They got what felt good. Um, This is not even a place of, like, biasy. I don't think of the, the pot and stuff. Um, this is just a place of, like, objective fact. You can go back and replay Diablo 2. You really can't go back and enjoy Diablo 3 in the same way. And Diablo 4 is garbage. It reaches almost 3 million sales by Whoa! the end of the year. Whoa! Becoming the fastest selling PC game of all time. Yep. In 2002, okay. Warcraft is back. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Maybe there it is. I can, real quick, I, I know we're going to get into it. I know we're going to back into it. Blizzard, I can fix you guys right now. Here's what you do. Fresh restart. Hear me out. Make a new Warcraft. Call it Warcraft 1. Okay? Just hear me out. Hear me out. Give me new RTSs. Warcraft 1, 2, and 3. Set in a World of Warcraft universe, like, a hundred years to a thousand years past the current one. Then, after those three RTSs, in that stretch... Make World of Warcraft 2. Just then, StarCraft 3 in the meantime, right? Then just reset Diablo. Just maybe, just do a harsh reset. Get back to your roots. Maybe stop being freaks. And, and money-hungry weirdos. Keep watching. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Sorry. Now it has an extra dimension. Oh, it's Warcraft so good to look at. sells 1 million units in yep. just one month. Oh, my God. I'm pretty sure I was one of those, though. Immediately becoming the new fastest-selling yep. PC game. Awesome. It also releases with a campaign editor, which... That's shit, dude. War of the Ancients, dude. The Tower Defense, the OG Dota. Oh, my God. Blizzard, here is how to make a good game. Go ahead. Just call it Warcraft. Okay. But you can now fuck the worgen. <laughs> Blizzard, don't listen to that. <laughs> no, Blizzard, stop. a series of popular mods like Defense of the Ancients. Yeah, dude, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, man. And after its expansion in 2003, the it's hands on deck throne, for Blizzard's dude. next project. You know it. You know it. You know what's coming. You know what's cooking. Frozen Throne ends. Illidan got beat by Arthas. Arthas ascends to the throne. What happens next? You know it. You love it. Give me World of Warcraft. The year is 2004. And Blizzard is getting ready to release its biggest game yet. Oh, yeah. Oh, they'd yeah. They'd seen how big MMOs like Dude. EverQuest were getting. Dude. And thought they'd try their hand. I'm getting so jazzed up at the nostalgia. And after <laughs> give me, give me, $60 million dollars <laughs> give me, give me. five years of work. Worth it. It's finally nearing release. Here we go. And in November 2004. There it is. World of Warcraft. Oh, launches. my God. One of the best games of all time. World of Warcraft, which is 20 years old now, by the way. Yes, I, how young? WoW is a lot younger than you think it is, but also one of the best games ever made. Original, yeah, I know, right? Sign original World of Warcraft. <laughs> there it is. There, they found it. There. So they, they uh, came out in the '90s. I, it's probably because it. Th so this game came out in 2004, next to EverQuest, next to like uh, Star Wars Galaxies. There were a lot of like other games that were like next to this that were have been out for a while. That made you feel like, oh, it was been out for a while, right? And it takes the world by storm. It sure shit Smashing does. even Blizzard's forecasts. Yes. There are so many players trying to log on in the oh, first yep, week. Yep. But their servers have a complete meltdown. <laughs> that happens a lot, actually. Oh, my God. The nostalgia. Dude. It's shit like this that makes me want to like re-download it right now. Server queues reaching the thousands. It's get past the queues. Yeah, it was in production for like five years. Yeah, yeah, six years. Well, now you're greeted with a ton of latency yeah. issues and a probable disconnection. Yep. Meaning you're now back on that queue screen. Right? Yep. Yep. After the initial server problems are ironed out and people can actually play. the blood virus, I the sure do. Sucks I sure in do. On mass, fans are very enthusiastic. Ah, uh, Leroy Jenkins, literally, God, everything about this. The, the content creation, the explanation, the, the funny memes to come out of this. It was just... Yes, Leroy was staged. It was still fantastic. Leroy! It hoovers up awards left, right, yep. and center. And sells a ton. <laughs> reaching almost 6 million sales by the end of its first year. Yep. 
World of Warcraft isn't like your average game though. Go on. Instead of simply buying a copy, players have to pay a $15 monthly subscription fee. I had to, every month, because we were from a poor family, I would have to beg, beg my mom for a, a game card. And she's like, did I just buy you this? I'm like, I know, but listen, I need it again. She's like, that doesn't make any sense. I'm like, you gotta hear me out. You gotta trust me. I need this. Please. Did you see it? Please give me this every month forever. And she's like, it's $15. I'm like, I know. I know. I know. <laughs> Please. To play 6 million times 15 every month. Yep. And Blizzard isn't doing too badly. Nope. Everyone is playing the game. Yep. And its ads go on to... I worked for it. I literally did whatever I could for it. Chores. Uh, uh, I, I, listen, it was up until I was uh, like 14, I think. I, oh, my God. Do you remember that? Do you remember these videos? <gasps> Whoa, dude. Oh, my God. The Mr. T Night Elf Mohawk. I just wanted to pay for internet and uh, EQ. Says oh, my God. It's like that, though. Forsooth, mother of mine. But, but literally, until I got a job at like 13, I was like dead ass, just like foaming at the mouth of the shit. Celebrities. I'm Chuck Norris. <laughs> I approve this game. And others like Vin Diesel, William Shatner, yep. Henry Cavill, yep. Mila Kunis, sure. and Dave Chappelle announced their addictions in various interviews. World of Warcraft. I is... know it's $15 a month. But I'll forget to true. eat every true. other day. It's true. Mom. True. That's a savings. The amount of days that I intentionally took off from school to play the game is too many. Everywhere. God fucking damn it! God, it's so good! My, one of my favorite episodes of all time was Make Love Not Warcraft. Oh my god! Dude. As if you can't afford not to. Exactly! Oh my god. World of Warcraft would also result in the launch of BlizzCon in 2005. Eh, mid. A massive annual mid. convention that would eh. feature big musical acts and announcements for Blizzard's future games. Mm -hmm. Fans could also ask the devs questions and were sometimes even featured. <sighs> different time. Different time, Palm Mutt. Don't cringe too hard. You're okay. Come back, Palm Mutt. Come back. You're cringing too hard. Come back, Palm Mutt. At this point, oh, Blizzard is among the all-time greats yes. of gaming. All right, we got Capcom, uh, Konami, EA. Uh, EA back in the day was still shit. Sega, Ubisoft, and Bethesda. Dude, early Bethesda, brother. Early Bethesda, though. God, that was a time to be alive. Ubisoft was always shit. Uh, it was 2000, it was okay. Yeah, true. You know what? True. EA was never, EA was never good, by the way. Every game, a smash hit. Correct. They could do no wrong. And then... Here we go. You know but it's first, ad flying right. a plane is easy. What is it ad? Just get in, flip a few switches, sure. and you're off. What's in the war thunder? <laughs> <laughs> All right, well done, well done. All right, ethical, ethical reaction content. We're gonna watch the ad. Pretty good, pretty well done. All right, it's go even ahead. Even easier. Sure. And a ton of fun. Sure. Jump Go into ahead. intense PvP. Go ahead, War Thunder. To the sea. Yeah. All the way to the skies. Sure. In fact, War Thunder is the most comprehensive vehicle combat game of all time. Sure, sure, Look sure. At all those things. There's more than two thousand of them. Someone mm. that likes the small and agile, or a fan of the more voluptuous. Oh wow, well, Zowie. War Thunder has. Wait, Diamond's game? Everyone. Correct. Yes. The game is deep indeed. With a dynamic damage system that damages individual comp I would unironically play this game, by the way. If they ever reach out to me, if War Thunder actually reach out to me personally and not through, like, the stream elements bullshit, like, I mean, like, they actually reach out to me from the War Thunder team and they give me... Well, I would actually give this a shot. On, I would play this game on stream, sure. Yeah, yeah you're gonna pay you to do it. Same with Genshin. If Genshin is out to me, I'll try it. Opponents and a huge exactly exactly right. They, they, they hundreds they... of camos, historical Whoa. emblems, Whoa. and over a cent. <laughs> is Pickle Rick actually in the whatever? Tree of vehicles to pick from, and their models Whoa. painstakingly detailed to one hundred percent accuracy. Well, they better be because the amount of documents that have leaked to make that a point are. <laughs> I mean, I mean, listen, uh, listen, I mean. 
They better be! <laughs> Which you can enjoy in gorgeous 4K graphics. Oh. And you can play on Xbox, PlayStation, sure, and PC sure. right. for free. <gasps> Fancy a large bonus pack with I all sure this do! Stuff? Just sign up through the link in the description. There you go! Or the pinned comments below. If you want to play War Thunder, you know where to, you know where to, unless you want to wait for me to get it. Let me see, let me check, let me check my business email real quick. Let me see if I got it. Um, No. <laughs> no! Can I play GBA Color? You cannot help about this. Is uh, Dr. John War Thunder. <gasps> I'll give you a player game, but sadly you are just a just shy streamer. I would literally, is there an Uwu Furry Tank in War Thunder? Let me just furry tank or thunder. No way, right? No. The <laughs> I'm not going to show you guys what I found. <laughs> it's not worth it. I'm just going to keep hit play. Ah, it begins, baby. All right. Let me predict. Double three. Pretty bad at launch. Did worse later. Oh, let me think. Let me think. What's it called? Burning Crusade? Fantastic. Lich King? Fantastic. You can you point on the map at Lich King. That's when it all came downhill. In the same way that you can point the map and say you have to watch ads on my stream every top of the hour. But yeah, I can pinpoint where it happened. Um... Wrath of Lich King. After that, it all went downhill. The year is now 2006. All right. I missed what the World Warcraft has almost oh, 10 my. million active subscribers. Sure as shit does. And is bringing in a ton of money. Hell yeah. So naturally, it had turned a few heads. Yes. One of those heads, Bobby Kotick. <laughs> oh, no. The Activision merger! The Activision merger! A ghoul! Chat, I didn't, I didn't mean to, sorry. Hey, sorry, I did, not, I did not mean to, I did not, I didn't have a trigger warning available. This is my first time watching this. I'm so sorry to show you Bobby. Yo, good for Bobby though, you know? <laughs> he, he should not be maimed. <laughs> Lawsuit in bio. <laughs> CEO of Activision. Yep. Listen, Activision used to be good too, but you saw how that turned out, right? <laughs> now in 2006, yeah, the merger. Activision had made good tracks in just about every genre of games. Yep. Except one. <gasps> the and MMO. One that was now booming. The MMO. The MMO. Yep. Warcraft currently bringing in over a billion dollars a year and literally you could point to when it happened and it's it's the merger. Bobby is such a serious name. Papa Muckock, Papa Muckock, Papa Muckock. <laughs> Stop saying that. Descriptions alone. He's interested. <laughs> now, oh, Bobby. Point, oh, Bobby. Blizzard has changed hands numerous times. Sure. And is now owned by a company called Vivendi. Okay. So Kotick approaches Vivendi with a proposition. <laughs> I don't like, I don't like this. I mean, this is just, this is literally Bobby Kotick. Just slowly coming into view. He's like, hey. He's, okay, hold on. I got you. Hold on. Let me just. Can I buy your game? <laughs> it's literally what he wanted. Dude, Bobby has always seen green since day one. If you don't know who Bobby Kodak is, buckle up. Vivendi receives money. Yep. Activision receives Higher Blizzard. Hurry. Yep. However, <gasps> Vivendi says no. Oh, Vivendi. Instead, Vivendi offers to merge their gaming subdivision with Activision. Yay. With Vivendi owning a majority share in the resulting company. Whoa. And after a brief hesitation from Kotick, in 2008, yep. the deal closes. There's the merger. It begins. It begins. This is the moment. Here we go. Activision Blizzard opens its doors with Kotick uh, as CEO. And Activision and Blizzard, yep. now its two subsidiaries. Yep. Blizzard the, would there we supposedly go. retain most of its autonomy. And spoiler. <laughs> hey, Spay. Spoiler. It did not. Hey, spoiler to that. Incorrect. Hi, Aaron. How are you? Uh, this is what they call. This is called Dave. Same. This is when when you when you, this is when both studios began to. You'll see. You'll see. Keep their CEO, co-founder mm. Michael Morhaim. Ah. It's now 2010. Here we and go. Blizzard has gone from just under 500 employees before the launch of World of Warcraft mm -hmm. to now over 4,600. Sheesh. 
That's kind of crazy. That's a lot. That is a, that's actually kind of crazy. The majority of whom are preparing for the launch of StarCraft. Yeah, the StarCraft fans. The last time you guys got anything good. <laughs> I'm sorry. I wish RTSs were popular again, guys. Listen, my StarCraft fans in the chat, I'm sorry. I really do wish that you guys had more content. I'm sorry. Listen, I want you guys to have something good. You guys have been without good RTSs for a long time. Oh, uh, Chris, I'm sure it's a bad story, but the gameplay was god tier. So it's a case of like the story's mid, but the gameplay is great. Then it, it, you can just get past the story and then play the gameplay. You know what I mean? At least you got any support, uh, uh, F Zero fans. I mean, true. And the third major Warcraft expansion, Cataclysm. Yep. This is where it begins. This, this is the this is the rise and fall. Cataclysm saw a divide in the player base, and oh, we'll see, we'll see. In December, we'll see. Now these launches were not small. No, Warcraft had been hitting peak after peak of players. <laughs> and yep. It was now at twelve million. Yep. Monthly subscribers. Just wait. Just wait. And Starcraft 2's sales projections are also sizable. I don't get why they neglected. Star I just, I know it's Bobby. I know it's them, but. Dude, if you would have made a StarCraft 3 and focus on the esports scene for that instead of the Overwatch League, dude, it would still be popular to this day. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. But Blizzard currently has a problem. What's that? Their forums. <laughs> a little bit toxic. <laughs> yeah. Blizzard has a big team of moderators, but according to them, this they still wasn't. You, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. That's pretty, it's pretty accurate. Um... That's pretty accurate here. <laughs> That's pretty accurate. So behind the scenes, they get brainstorming. Okay. And someone has a brilliant idea. Please tell. How about we just force everyone that posts on our forums to use their real first and last. Oh, that's... That's... Dude. I forgot about all this shit. I forgot. It's real ID. Yes. Yeah, this is the real ID. I forgot about real ID. Oh my god. I forgot about real ID, dude. Yeah, Mew. It's called real ID. I forgot about this shit. It's crazy. Genius. <laughs> Genius. And in July 2010, real ID is unveiled. Yep. And people absolutely hate it. Yeah, it's doxing. <laughs> it's, it's literally just doxing. Hey, there, one of the Raiders! I love you. Oh, I love you too. Hi, Raiders. Hello. Hello, Raiders. Hi. Hi, Ethan. Hi. Hi, everybody. Well, my name is Paul about Yolanda Dad. Welcome to the stream. It's how to go to stream. Welcome in. We are watching the downfall of Blizzard Entertainment. So, it's the Blizzard is worse than you think. It is going swimmingly so far, and I'm enjoying the shit out of it. This is very reminiscent, by the way, of early internet historian, you know, before all the plagiarism um but hi how are you hi so in an attempt to sell the idea to players How's blizzard's stream? community manager posts his full name on the forum <laughs> chad this was 2010 okay people didn't know about doxing and and nothing bad happened hooray except See guys, it's fine. But almost instantly, <laughs> people descend on the forum and get to work. And within mere minutes, so they find and publish his hope. Let's see if it pays off for him. Address, yep. phone number, yep. age, yep. Facebook, yep. family names, yep. and a list of his favorite music and music. Dude, I don't know what he thought was gonna. It's literally proving the point that real ID is an awful, awful, awful. Awful idea because you're doxing yourself. Oh no, it all went wrong. Movies. Okay. Sure. You know what? Uh -huh. Fair enough. Yep. And after just a few days of being announced, real ID is scrapped entirely. What? Doxing people <laughs> because the forums are mean? No. <laughs> I'm really, I am really glad. Listen, I hate that he got doxxed, but that's like literally a case point. It's literally because it's early 2010s, right? So it's just like what he had. He probably had no idea. Like, oh, it's fine. I, you have my name. So what? It's like okay, you know, people on 4chan exist, right? Like, come on. By 2009, okay. the Warcraft 3 mod, Defense of the Ancients. Oh, hold on, wait for the Anya. Ah, yes. 
Let me use my real name on a gamer forum. Smart, smart. Hopefully nothing bad nah. happens. Smiley face nah. gets Doc's guest shocker. <laughs> yeah, gets, gets Doc's like, oh. Uh, Defense of the Age was so good, by the way. It's, it's. Oh. Is real ID as bad an idea as Fallout 76? Different, different uh, genre of thing. Real ID was a tool to basically make it so like you you know if you're mean we'll know who you are whereas that's a game Dif different worlds different, different worlds have gained a significant following and it even spawned a whole new genre yep. of games yeah Robus. for I much of that time blizzard had paid little attention to the mod yep. or the game yep but the success of the recently launched league of legends could no longer be ignored and blizzard finally steps in it's i i i do forget it, i thought dota was dota wait stop I thought Dota was owned by Valve. Am I wrong? Who owns Dota? Blizzard acquired Dota All-Stars from Riot Games and filed an opposition. Wait, against Valve? Wait, what? Dota 2 is owned by Valve. Oh, weird. I'll keep watching. Sorry, 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 sorry. Starting sorry. work on their take sorry. on the genre, titled Blizzard Dota. Around right, the same right, time, right. and Valve wants to make their own move. Mm. If I just shut up, the, 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 listen, if I just shut up, they'll just tell me. <laughs> How the you doing, your audience? The dev of the original Dota mod God. snapped up the Dota trademark <laughs> and yeah. they're calling their new game Dota 2. Nice. Blizzard is furious. Okay. <laughs> So in 2012, <laughs> they file a statement of opposition, mm. arguing that the name Defense of the Ancients was associated exclusively with Warcraft due to it being made in their map editor. Shut up. Shut up. I know, I, we already know how this ends, but shut up. Come, shut up. I was just, I played Dota 2 Ages. I played Dota 2 once. I played the Dwarf with the Sniper, and that's about all I played. Um, I had every Saturday. Yeah, no, that's me, that's me this Thursday. But like, come on, Blizzard, shut up. However, this argument has issues. Victory. Oh. The mod was created in Warcraft 3's map right. editor, nice. but that map editor had no specific terms and conditions on ownership of said Ooh. maps, IP, and concepts. Yeah, goofed! They end up settling out of court a few mm -hmm. months after, with Valve getting the commercial rights to the term Dota, yep. and Dota 2 releases in 2012. Yeah! It's massively successful, sure is. and goes on to be an esports giant. Big L from Blizzard there. Big L. But I mean, honestly, I prefer Dota being the hands of Valve. Like, I don't play Dota, but those in the chat who do, I'm pretty sure most of you can agree it's probably better in Valve's hands, right? Like, let's be real. Like, it's probably better in Valve's hands, is my guess. Blizzard gets non-commercial use of the title for its community. And Dota IP. What does that mean, non-commercial use? Three names Blizzard Dota to Heroes of the Storm. Oh, that's... Oh, that's right, Hots, dude. I actually feel so bad. Tadiari, I feel so bad for the Hots players, dude. Oh, man. Man. Which releases in 2015. Mm -hmm. And support is canned three years later. Yep. They, the pro players for Hots learned through a tweet that, the, that there'd be no more support for the, it, it was no more support for the game. Which is a shame, because the game was amazing. The game was super cool. I liked it. I played Arthas. It was fun. I, it was a good game. I, I don't know what happened. Blizzard would change its Thank licensing you, agreements for all future games to include like their Hots. ownership yeah. of player creation. It was fun. In an attempt to avoid this ever happening again. Mm -hmm. It's 2012. I liked it, but I got no love. It's weird. Welcome to the welcome to modern Activism Blizzard. There's no love for StarCraft. There's there's no love for Hots for some reason. It was it's so weird to me. It's so weird. Oh true, tank, true. And the I massively probably... anticipated sequel to Diablo 2 is looking like it's releasing this year. Mm, here we go. Buckle up. Its development had been a bit rocky. Yeah, here we go. Team, Blizzard North being canned in 2005, mm. along with their version of the game. Yeah. But on the 15th of May 2012, the rebooted Diablo 3 launches. Here we go. You have to start clinching. Is horrendous. Oh, here we go. So, what they follow? Yep. It begins their first major L. This was, I'm telling you, Cataclysm was mixed reviews. This is their first genuine L. 
Like you can, there are people that argue that Cataclysm was, you know, pretty fun, pretty fine, but this is where you can pinpoint like, okay, this is bad. I thought, how are you? For one, its launch is horrific. Yes, it's the game is online only. Yeah. By the way, who who played? I show pause. Who played this game when it launched? And if you did, you'll remember it. You did because the shit you, you couldn't play it. You couldn't play the game for half the time, and the time you could, it was awful. And turns out there are massive server issues. Yep. There's a pain. It People was. Spamming their login details yep. over and over, only to be kicked out by error thirty-seven. I'm I'm getting PTSD. <laughs> uh, oh my god! I want to leave. I want to. I want to. I want to leave the video. I want to leave the video. I want to leave the video. It's too real. I don't. Who are you? Who's this guy name? Stop. What's your name? Big Boss. I'm subscribing to Big Boss. How dare you trigger me just now? How dare you? How dare you? <laughs> Love your content, energy. That's how are you? I'm doing well. well. I was doing well until we watched Blizzard is worse than you thought, and now I'm freaking What's out. What's worse? Thank you, what's up? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Q system in place. So you have to manually retry every minute. Dude, I'm getting PTSD. <laughs> Dude, I feel my whole body chill. Stop. <laughs> Too many memories. This issue takes over a week to fix. Yep. Then there's the auction house. Dude, Here. stop. Stop. Big boss, I beg you, stop. Do you have the internal beef with the Blizzard? Because they, uh, they gave it to me uh, a bundle for buying a one year something. Wow. Lo and behold, they take uh, that back. Yep. And they can't. Yes. Yes. I've heard that too before. I've heard that too. Loot can be bought and sold using your mom's credit card. Yep. Activision Blizzard gets filthy rich. Yep. While the balancing gets obliterated. <laughs> End game content is also essentially non-existent. Dude, it's too real. It just felt like it felt like a, a cash grab, which it was. And if you come in here and you argue, oh, it got better later. First off, sure. Any game after like uh, it, the problem is it should never have been this bad to begin with. Very. They were at the time like a million. Like I, I don't know about billion, but there were millions of dollars in that corporation. It should. They, it's yellow is one of their biggest IPs. It should never have been that bad. Never should have been that bad. However, the game sells almost four my million way, sorry, I'm in its first 24 oh my God, hours, really? and over time, slowly makes a turnaround. Yeah. It did, sure. But it should never have launched that state. In 2014, the real money auction house is closed, mm -hmm. and Blizzard launches Reaper of Souls. I get it. Reaper of Souls was good. Can't argue that. But it should not have taken that long. <laughs> uh, but Blizzard used to be quality. Yes, used to. An add-on praised almost unanimously. Yep, They're good. ready to make a second add-on to the game, but management says no. Oh. Apparently, executives see the game as a massive failure. No. <laughs> no. And demands devs no. jump ship. Yep. I played the it for now. The year is now 2015. Okay. Oh. The past 10 years had seen massive expansions. To uh, Cataclysm was hit or miss for some. Um, I didn't like it, but a lot of people did. Pandaria, I heard that if you played it, you loved it until you didn't. Um, my friends who played Pandaria loved the game for a while. But there was also apparently a con. I, I, I did not play Pandaria. I skipped Pandaria. Uh, I, I quit a Cataclysm. I came back for... I, I also skipped Warlords of Draenor. Thank God. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, but I, I get, yeah, Mop and Grace are about to hate. I heard Mop was good. I heard Mop was good. Uh, it, I, 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 eh. The Warcraft. Oh, God. This, this was a mess. I, I had friends that were playing during this time, and I never stopped hearing bitching about this game. I never stopped hurt hearing bitching about this game. <gasps> How does it are you? You have some art for you? I post a Discord. Oh, of course. Uh, I'll check, I'll check out here after this video, for sure. Because I gotta watch the video for, I gotta watch the video first. We're already deep, deep in the page. <sighs> Where did the paint? Um, uh... Uh, yeah, where was I? Including controversial changes to the game and its mechanics. Mm -hmm. And player numbers reflect... World of Warcraft has lost 44%. Sheesh. ...that now being in steep decline. Oh, uh, so where is the drum was jammed, but I openly admit that it was just because orcs and I played Horde. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, that's why. Iron Horde was cool, but that's what it is. A growing number of players long to go back to the days of vanilla. God, Version yes. one of the game. God, back yes. Back in 2004. God, yes. One fan even floats the idea to Blizzard themselves at BlizzCon 2013. Here's how that goes. Have you ever... Oh my god, is he the Emperor? I okay. never thought about adding servers for previous expansions as they were then. No. Okay, then. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> no. <laughs> so, dude, so stupid. Oh my god. Got it. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my god. We'll just make one ourselves. And the fan made Nostalrius vanilla server goes on. Dude! I played this. Dude, I dude, I played this. This shit was awesome. This shit was so cool. It goes online. In it was so good. Running version 1.12. Yeah! A month after the original launch. Yes. It's not long before the server gets massively popular. Yep. With almost a million accounts registered. I was there. Dude, private servers back in the... Dude, private servers, their peak. I was there. I'll admit it. Private servers rule. That's just awesome. Interested. It's also not long before Blizzard catches wind and brings the hammer down. Yep. Their lawyers sent them a cease and desist. Blizzard hates his fan? Correct. In 2016, and the server is promptly shut down. Yep. We had a good run. Realizing they were completely we wrong run. about vanilla Warcraft. Here we Blizzard go. Blizzard do a full 180 and announce Warcraft Classic in mm -hmm. 2017. Yeah. Such a such a dumb. I mean, it's fun. I do like war. I like hardcore WoW. I played hardcore WoW with Zolod and uh, uh, Vex and uh, Son. That's fun. I do like hardcore WoW a lot with friends, but same you talking same. Woo! Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Blizzard started work on a huge MMO Here we go. Called Project Titan. It, by the way, buckle up for this. This story gets wacky and wild. And again, you're about Project Titan. You're about to see. The, you know what's coming, and the fumble of this one, dude, Blizzard just fumbles and fumbles. You'll see, you'll see, you'll see. It was described as a combination of Left 4 Dead, yep. Team Fortress, yep. and The Sims. Just wait. Mm. <laughs> development <laughs> led nowhere, and six years later, mm. the plug is pulled. Right. A massive failure on Blizzard's part. But. And a major internal embarrassment. But. However. The team behind it would attempt to rework the remains of the story and assets into another uh -huh. project. And in 2016, there it is. Overwatch hits shelves. All cards on the table. Such a good game. Overwatch at its launch was peak gameplay. Yes, Project Overwatch is the result of a scrapped fever dream. Fun fact for you. And boy, howdy, did I love this game. The first year this game was out was awesome. And then in typical Blizzard fashion. <laughs> in typical Blizzard fashion. As you already know the story. And it's amazing. Oh, so it's good. It's critically acclaimed across the board. Yep. And massively popular. Loved it. Quickly becoming one of the most popular esports titles on the market. By the way, real quick, as I'm here. How are you guys doing? The fact that they made the esports like cities is so weird to me. Why would you not just sell the spots to orgs that exist, like FaZe or uh, FlyQuest or uh, 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 CLG, right? Why would you just, like, make the cities? It was weird. Their choice here was dumb. That, paired with their genre pioneer and card game Hearthstone back in... Again, another banger. ...in 2014 another that banger. now has almost 100 million plays. Yep. And Blizzard is looking strong. Yep. However, there are problems brewing. See... Overwatch was the last big game that had in the pipeline for a while. Uh, yeah, that is true. And they realize they don't have much to show off for BlizzCon 2018. <laughs> so Blizzard rushes <laughs> to find something to show Here off. Here we go! Here we go, 2018! You know it's coming! Got it. Give it to you. Fast forward to November 2018. You know it's coming. And their presentation is ready to go. I'm so excited, dude. I... Is it is it core? No, 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 no. It's better. It's better. It is, it, this is this line. We've seen them fumble Diablo 3, but they got it back with the DLC, Reaper of Souls. So where could they possibly... They, they are the best. They've had some fumbles, but they... Listen, they bounced back. Warlords, looking a little mid. It's fine. Diablo, back on. People still like StarCraft. Awesome. Overwatch, huge success. Where could they go wrong? They sprinkle a few niche or announcements mm -hmm. here and there, like a remastered Warcraft. Sure. Game. But they have one Hot big killers. There it is. There it is. After six long years, a brand new Diablo. It begins. For mobile. <laughs> Look, Diablo 2, come play the mobile game that has nothing to do. Uh, uh, so good. I'm, I'm amazed, honestly. It's this bad. This is fucking insane. I. <laughs> <laughs> sure. I don't even know like what to even say about this. Sure. I was wondering, is this uh, an out of season April Fool's joke? The this man is like the goat. I such 
a goat. <laughs> you got games on your phone? Say uh, it. We don't have any plans at the moment Say to it. do a uh, PC. Say it. Say it. You guys have games on your phone. Say it. Say it. Do you guys not have phones? Yeah, you guys that, all have phones. Phone. Like, like a fine wine. Aged so well, I could enjoy it on a hot summer day, dude. Absolutely love it. The game they eventually launches, and yep. it's bad. It's awful. Firstly, <laughs> it's not even developed by Blizzard. Nope. But their Chinese partner, NetEase. Which, if you're not familiar with NetEase, good. <laughs> it turns out, it's monetized to the tip. Yeah! It costs over half a million dollars to max out a single character. Correct. And becomes the worst rated game ever on Metacritic. By the way, there are dudes that did max out the character, and they would go to PvP and loaded, literally just one-shot everyone. There's, that's it. They would just go. They would one shot everybody, and that that was the that was the, like there was no reason to play. If you were a regular normie playing the game, who spent maybe like twenty bucks here and there, you would get one shot. It's so good. Yep. By 2018, here we go. Fans are noticing something. Yep. Activision Blizzard had been creeping, and Blizzard was changing. Yeah. See, back in 2013. Active Blizzard had bought back the remaining Vivendi shares for about $7 billion. Dude, here we go. Meaning they, and by extension, Bobby Kotick, now had complete control of both Activision and Blizzard. There we go. I told you, gang, this merger was the original progenitor. That is when things became about stocks and shareholders. That's when money dictated fun, not actual good games. So the merger, if they, if I I am a firm believer, if if they never merged, Blizzard would still be a massive massive success. We would all we would not be watching this video right now. The China going to pay uh, people, uh, the max characters to stay at the top of the uh, PvP so that China was always number one. That's buck wild, by the way. Sure, don't play games. Oh, that's true. Fast forward to 2018. And this creeping had only got worse. Here we go. Because of the slowdown in game releases, mm -hmm. Blizzard revenues are taking an absolute nosedive. <laughs> oh my god, is he okay? <laughs> so Active Blizzard steps in. Okay. It pushes the company to cut costs and gets them to produce games at a faster pace. Here we go. Here we go. New characters in Overwatch. Bad balancing. Do it, baby! With Kotick apparently installing his own executives within Blizzard. To Here we go! That happens. By the way, don't worry. Blizzard will remain autonomous away from Activision, and they won't ever intersect. The army shot game? The what? Apparently, tired of Active Blizzard's meddling, Blizzard co-founder Mike Morhaime steps down true, as true, and true. CEO. And mm. leaves the company after 27 years of work. Yep. He's succeeded by Warcraft's executive producer, J. Allen Brack. This guy. And by the way, you don't want to that to do that either. You don't want to do that to <gasps> Kaiju, are you? You think you do, but you don't. True. You think th I forgot about that. True! The guy that thinks he knows more about the players than the actual players. True. And as soon as this happens. We accelerate. <laughs> yes, let's do the it. The company immediately prioritizes cutting costs. Yep, here we go. And the Heroes of the Storm's development team is outright annihilated. I don't get it. You had active games. You could have been working on StarCraft 3. You had active powerhouses. People liked hots. You had a pro scene. I don't understand why you just wouldn't release more characters for these games. And then do that to tie, but money. Oh yeah, sorry, 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 sorry. You're right, 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 yeah, yeah. Sorry, 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 sorry. Its esports league is also scrapped yep. right before its 2019 <gasps> I season. I got you. As yep. a result, entire teams, commentators, and support staff yep. are suddenly left jobless. And despite overnight, by the way, 2018 being a record year for active Blizzard profits, they lay off 800 employees. It begins. Almost 10% of the company. It begins. Bobby's Bobby. Let me show you something real important, chat. Sorry, put. <gasps> thank you for the follow. Thank you for the follow. Uh, thank you, thank you, Katora. Thank you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's see if I can find it. Is this the one? I don't know if this is the exact one, but never forget, our boy Bobby Kodak has a yacht. I'm um, uh, just, just a reminder. My man's got my man's got a yacht. So, just just don't uh, don't forget that. Our boy Bobby enjoys a nice yacht. 
But 800 people are out of jobs. So, you know. <clears throat> they begin rehiring the exact same jobs a couple of years later. Yeah! So going into 2019, okay. people are not happy. Fair. It turns out, over on the other side of the world, and things are happening in Hong Kong. Oh, They're not true. good. Oh! oh my god, I forgot about this. Oh my god, the Hong Kong controversy? Dude! With the, uh, I think it was the, uh, Hearthstone, was it Hearthstone? It was Hearthstone, right? The government has proposed a bill that would give China more authority over them. Is it Hearthstone? And not too popular. I forgot! At the same time, Hong Kong native... Yep! Hit, here it is! It's Chung is participating in Hearthstone's eSports League. Yep. He wins and uses the post-game interview to show his support for the protests. Uh, he's saying, uh, liberate Hong Kong, revolution of our age. By the way, let's not forget... The pro player used the platform to say it revolutionized Hong Kong, right? Liberate Hong Kong. And Bobby only gives a shit about a, a, a simply shareholders. And a lot of these, a lot of money in this case, there are a lot of players in China. Buckle up because this sucks. But as soon as he says it, something happens. Yep. See? Blizzard has a huge player this, base in China. Dude, I, I could run this goddamn thing. This guy's awesome. I, I, this guy. And to keep that player base available. He's a capitalist, yep. They have to bend over backwards for the Chinese government. Correct. So when this happens, they Done. go scorched earth. It is. I, dude, this, I remember this scene. This was disgusting. They take the live stream down seconds yep. after he says it. Yep. Slap <laughs> him with the. <laughs> Good. I could swear like this. Mm -hmm. That I've heard Papa talk about this with all of these videos before. Or am I just crazy? I think crazy. I was crazy once. I have no idea what you're talking about. This Year is a long ban. Oh! And even confiscate his prize money. Yep. Even the guys casting the stream. Caster fired after Hong Kong coverage says uh, he still doesn't know why. Fired. Yep. It's not long before the internet catches wind and people are furious. <laughs> Tyler. <laughs> At one point, even Congress members have a go. After a few days of pressure, Jay Allen Brack eventually comes out. He reduces the ban to half a year. Oh, well, isn't that nice? Some I mean, hi, kiss, good night, I was, uh, wow, that's so nice. Only half a great year. All right, great. great. Good for him. And grants Bridge <laughs> Chung his prize money back. Aww. He also says that Blizzard's relationships with China had no influence on their decision. My disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined blizzard is starting <laughs> to look seriously not cool so yep. they decide to go into blizzcon 2019 okay. with the big guns okay here we go diablo 4 oh yeah oh yeah i forgot this is oh my god i forgot this is a 2019 dude covid ruined my perception of time i forgot this is 2019 holy shit and over what i forgot dude. also that Warcraft remaster they'd announced at the infamous 2018 BlizzCon is coming out next year. Mm -hmm. This will be good. Sure. Is it not 22? Back in 2015, okay. Blizzard had set up a subdivision to remaster old games. The first of which would be Warcraft 3. Sure. And in January 2020, the highly anticipated remaster launches. Oh, and by the way, this did not do good. If you guys didn't play this game, it was it felt just bad. It, 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 this I don't know what happened to this game, but it was just dog shit. Oh boy, the game is beyond terrible. Yep, yeah, dude. Yeah, mm, yeah. It was giga cheeks, bro. Like yeah. it was just, it was just bad. I don't know how they, it's the same game. Here's why. Yep, good. Before launch, Warcraft 3's advertising touted multiple new features. Correct. Over four hours of cinematic new cutscenes. Awesome. More story. Hell yeah. And new voice acting. Awesome. And a complete <laughs> campaign overhaul. Perfect. Changing the story to be more in line with the current Warcraft lore. And then... I'm excited. Who's the available in all Gaelic before? When oh. is Did you think I'd release you from your collar? Silly pup. Your mind for the rest Ding. of <gasps> Yes! Log on. Turns out, absolutely none of this is in the game. Correct. 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 This is after being advertised on the website for over a year. Yep. Liar. <laughs> Liar. Of features from the original Warcraft 3 just outright missing. <laughs> Here are a few of them. Okay. No ranked play. No. Awful idea. No ranked play is insane. 
No profile. Uh, no. <laughs> Sean Marie stop. No account stats. Uh, no. No. No custom campaign. No. No. No clans. No. No. No cross region play for custom games. No. Um, no. <laughs> and no offline play. That, by the way, if it's 2024, if I can't play the game offline, I'm not buying your game. There are some exceptions, obviously, but if I'm buying if I'm buying an RTS with a campaign. I am going to play offline. I'm letting you know this now. <laughs> no. It's possible after a <laughs> no. few patches, but it's a little complicated. Also, after some digging, people realize the main menu background is actually a Chrome-based web app. What? And is taking up more of your CPU power than the actual game. What? Online matchmaking sucks and right? kicks you out all the time. Sure. This is without a way to reconnect. By good, the way. good. Graphics How? are and advertised. Tree. Wait. Ethan. I never got this far in the. Have you lost your mind? Dude. I. Oh my god. <laughs> it's not even close. The new art direction is bad. Five of the game's maps are exactly the same as the original. Yep. And poor optimization. Oh. Tons of crashes. Yep. And countless bugs. On top of all of that, Reforged is a mandatory update for everyone with the original game. <sighs> My heart goes out to anyone who wanted to play original Warcraft and did not have the discs. Because you had to just, you just got it. Now you've got, now, it, it, it is strange and vague. Are we dead? It is or literally is the, the uh, scenario that took place with the Star Wars movies. Where the movies just got replaced by the shitty CG ones. Yes. The only chase small items are able to play. Yes. Own the original with no intention of upgrading. Yep. Well, here's an additional 30 gigabytes of install. Yay! All of this amounts to one of the worst launches of a game in history. Correct. Within a few days of release, it ends up at 0 0.5 out of 10 on Meta. I did not know it got that low. Holy dooly. That's a critic. At the time, the lowest Metacritic score in history. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> oh. Before yeah. being dethroned by Diablo Immortal. So naturally, hordes of people pile in to request refunds. Yep. But wait, <gasps> you've booted up the game even just once? Sorry, you're not allowed. Sure. There's so much outcry about the game, however, that Blizzard eventually caves yep. and starts actually granting refunds. The game is so bad that the entire classic games division of Blizzard is completely canned. So, at this point in time, in the story, we are about 2018, okay? Overwatch 2 got announced, alright? And we're, I'm no reason to talk about Overwatch 2. Overwatch 2 got announced, we're heading into Warcraft Death, Death Throes, and what else happened? Uh, oh, they've canned, uh, here's a storm. Um, they've made Hearthstone kind of pay to win-ish. Uh, it's getting exciting. It's getting exciting. Oh, and they've forgotten about StarCraft and, uh, Warcraft Remaster Socks. And also, they've announced one of the worst games of all time, Diablo Immortal. You're fired. Get out of here. It also causes an upcoming Diablo 2 remake to yep. be pushed back more than a year. Yep. So it's 2021, and Blizzard's reputation is currently abhorrent. <laughs> Social credit. <laughs> Maybe they should actually something the game should be uploaded the deserve to get fired. I mean, that's just that's this is remember, Bobby and his goons took over the office. There was originally Activision didn't have autonomy over Blizzard. But then when when Activision bought out the rest of Blizzard, they they literally sent in goon squads to make sure things were functioning in the way Activision wants, which is shareholders focused and profit. But luckily, Overwatch 2 is just around the corner. Yeah! Oh, what's that? Oh, hold on a second. Hold on, hold on a second. Hold on. You oh. are in big trouble from the Civil Rights Department. Uh-oh. Turns out that uh -oh. over the last two years, the California Civil Rights Department had been investigating Activision Blizzard mm. due to multiple reports of sexual harassment huh. from staff. And by July 2021, they had enough evidence to file suit. Good. The lawsuit states that sexual harassment, unwanted advances, yep. Good. and groping are common within Blizzard. Both get them, get those. I, I, I still think the biggest. Uh, every one of those fools should have been fired. Every one of these fools responsible should have been fired. But you know who wasn't? Bobby. 
who facilitated a lot of this, by the way. Tell you know that. Both before and after the merge. This yep. includes the mention of an executive suite at 2013's BlizzCon. It's not a nice place. Nope. In fact, some employees literally dub it the Cosby Suite. Literally a nightmare hellscape. One of the worst places in the world to... Not the world, but one of the worst places in the game industry to work in. This is a case where I could unironically say, with my full chest, I would rather work for EA. Imagine that. Then there's the alleged underpaying of women. Yep. And complaints to both HR and the president repeatedly being ignored. Correct. But Bobby literally facilitated this. With something else. The employee's breast milk. This is a real story, by the way. I'm not kidding. It keeps being stolen. In the lawsuit, more than one employee alleges breast milk theft. Yep. It was very clearly breast milk in baggies with a baby's face on it. This is a literal thing. These effing psychopaths, these pieces of shit, these human scumbags stole breast milk from the fridge. So yeah. In case you guys want to know why I don't play Blizzard games anymore. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Producer claims. One day, I went to retrieve my pump. You better kneel down and, and pray to Jimmy with me right freaking now. The fallout is monumental yes. and makes headlines industry wide. Few people are spared. Current Diablo Good. 4 lead, gone. His Get them all, fire them all, blacklist the them. The guy in here, man. Blacklist them. And the guy in here. The Bible. Bible. <laughs> yeah, Bible. This is the Bible. You question the words of the mighty Jimmy? I'll be real with you guys. I don't think Jimmy's going to be able to save these fools. There's a place in the anti Jimmy realm for these fools, but. They're, they ain't getting, they're, Jimmy can't help these fools, chat. Mm -mm. Character's name in Overwatch, also gone. Yep. Level designer on World of Warcraft. Get him out of here. Gone. Yep. Head of Where HR. <laughs> Definitely gone. And Warcraft, me so gone. Sorry. Alan Brown, gone. Their chief legal. Gone. Get them all out. The Wall Street Journal also alleges that Kotick knew about the whole thing, ignored it, and in some cases, even jumped in himself. Yeah. There you go. Another reason why I, I I despise this man and the fact that he got to retire. He denies most of the allegations. I did not. I did but not. eventually apologizes for a one-time instance where he left a voicemail threatening to have his assistant killed. <laughs> we've all been there. Chat, we've all been there. I, I threaten my mods on the daily chat. We totally get it. Such a Mondays, am I right, fellas? <laughs> Burn in hell. Uh, unfortunately, he won't be for a while now that he's on his... Uh, good thing Bobby left. Bobby shouldn't have been able to leave. Bobby should be in prison. It's not about a leaving thing. The dude should be behind bars because he has money. He's on his yacht right now. That's all fine, then. Water under the bridge. Yeah. Happens. Sponsors like T-Mobile, Coca-Cola, Kellogg, IBM, and mm -hmm. Pringles mm -hmm. also all jump ship from the Overwatch eSports Good. League. Good. And Activision Blizzard is hit with a class action lawsuit Good. on behalf of its shareholders. Good. What? Overall, the situation's not looking great. Activision Blizzard denies most of the claims. Wow, no way. <laughs> really? You're, you're, in a, you're in a garbage work environment where you mistreat women to the point of, like, insanity, and yet... You're going to deny it? No, that doesn't sound like Blizzard. No. And in June 2022, no. they investigate themselves and find <laughs> no wrongdoing. I forgot. I forgot they investigated themselves. I forgot. Yeah, they investigate themselves like, uh, we're good. This is all bullshit. We're actually fine. I forgot about this. Holy shit. That's right. They're fine. Here we go. Don't worry, though. Overwatch 2 came out, so it's fine. The immediate reaction to Overwatch 2's announcement was one of confusion. Yeah. Overwatch 1 was a monetized game with right. a thriving player base Correct. and regular updates. It, it made no sense. This was literally another Bobby situation. <laughs> true. It's true. It's, not, it's just Bobby want his, you know, just, oh, just another little quick cash grab. Bobby needed another yacht. The kind of game that doesn't need a sequel. Nope. So this was a strange move. It's o like a League of Legends 2. There's really no need for it. There's no need for a League 2. 
it it, it, it can survive ad nauseum. They, they can. There's no. There's no. It makes no. It's like we made league, but now it's four v four. It's like why? But money. Ugh, true. Overwatch 2's development would also mean the end of support for Overwatch 1 right. in 2020. It's better? True. No new Overwatch content for multiple years, essentially killing the game. Yes. What? But with Overwatch 2, Blizzard reassures us it was all worth it. Listen. It will be worth it, chat. They're giving us a PvE mode. So, honestly, worth... <laughs> worth it. I'm sure, and... And nothing. Yeah, there's a campaign mode, a PVE mode. This would be great. Oh, I can't wait. Just look at all this new stuff. Whoa! 5v5 instead of 6v6. Okay. Shiny new graphics. Whoa. Balancing changes. Yeah. Map reworks. Whoa. Six. They could have, by the way, all these things they could have just done. That's eh, fine. New maps. Three new heroes. Whoa. More than 30 new skins. Sure. A new game mode. <gasps> a battle pass and cosmetic shop. Well, yay. What I love to see. And most importantly, a PVE campaign. Hell yeah, dude. Now we're back. Blizzard Entertainment, we're back, baby. Listen, the breast milk thing, water to the bridge. We got a PVE mode. People had been longing for a story in the Overwatch universe, <laughs> and now it was finally happening. All right. And it was ambitious. Blizzard shows off a full campaign, along yep. with hero missions, talents. Dude, the talent system. Okay, levels, talents. Exciting. Massive skill trees. Yeah! Hundreds of missions at launch. So Play cool. Out. A truly replayable Can't campaign. wait. And don't worry. <gasps> With Overwatch 2, Blizzard tells us they were redefined. Dude, I remember using... I Jeff, Jeff Kaplan was the GOAT, but you could tell the more he worked on the project, the more he lost his love for the game in what he did. Like, Jeff genuinely and sincerely, he was he seemed passionate about Overwatch, but then the more the the big wigs just it drained his soul exactly. He he, you know, he left because he's like, I can't do this anymore. I hate this shit so much. Um, I don't. But by the way, when we played Overwatch Two on stream when it came out, I was wearing a banner on my head that says, "Do not buy Overwatch Two." Like, do not spend money on Overwatch 2 as, like, a, like, don't do this. I'm going to play it so you don't have to. We played, like, 10 minutes when we finally got in, and it was shit. And I'm like, all right, bye. Like, that's literally how it happened. Finding what a sequel really means. Overwatch 1 players get all the new maps, updates, and heroes that release in Whoa, Overwatch 2. Whoa, awesome! And both player bases can cross-play together. Yeah! The purchase of Overwatch 2 essentially only granting the PvE mode. I... Let's go! <gasps> Yo! Thank you, thank you, TK3, for the follow. PvE? That's worth it to me. Listen, if you... 30 bucks for PvE mode? Sure. That sounds awesome. Let's do it. Okay. Sold. Sure. Players are on board. I'm, I'm in. 10th and of March, 2022. <laughs> and then... And Blizzard has an announcement. Oh, what's that? Look. We know we said hundreds of missions at launch. Can't wait for those missions. Can't wait. But, well, <gasps> it's taking a while, so we're just going to release the game now without it and <laughs> add it later. True. Then in June, <laughs> but they then... come out again. The game's now free to play <gasps> and launching in October. All, all right, let's go. But anyway, <laughs> on the 4th of October, 2022, it goes live. Okay, yeah. There were some issues. <gasps> Events are bad. Yep. Tons of balancing issues. Yep. The looking for group feature is now just completely gone. Correct. But mainly, <gasps> there's the new cosmetic system. Oh, yeah. If you guys were here when I played this game, you guys know I, I went on like a 30-minute rampage about why the new Battle Pass cosmetic system pissed me off. I'm not going to do this to you guys again. Because if you were here, you were here. You guys already know by now the Battle Pass cosmetic system was doo doo. <laughs> Hi, Prey. What's up, dog? Hi, Prey. How are you? Shop Prey. Go to bed, Chuck. Go to bed. The skins are so earnable now. Whoa. In Overwatch 1, earning cosmetics was simple. Just play the game, yep. level up, yep. and earn loot boxes that give you skins. And if you get a duplicate or you can get currency and you can just buy a skin. And there'd be the occasional, like, oh, pre order StarCraft 2 and get a skin for Soldier. Okay. Yeah, sure. But for the most part, yeah. You do, or you can buy 20 loot boxes and sure, you're spending 20 bucks on 20 loot boxes, sure. But then you get like, you know, a lot of currency, buy eight skins, they're good. You could pay for them, but that was completely optional. True. In Overwatch 2, things are different. 
Blizzard has now slapped on a seasonal battle pass system. Oh, dude, I love battle passes. Yes, I love being forced for FOMO. I love it. It's definitely not, yeah. Where the bulk of cosmetics would now be unlocked. Mm -hmm. There's also a rotating store, oh. and the prices there aren't great. 40 bucks for that shit. You can unlock skins for free through the Whoa. challenge system, but there's a problem. What's that? It takes about eight months to get one. Holy shit, wait, really? Overwatch was even a sequel? They just scratched in a two with a shark. Oh, yeah, for sure. Made the day scenes night. Yep. Night scenes day yep. and paywalled everything. Yep, 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 yep. They didn't even update the graphics. I also love that they, uh, the two on the street, right? Hey, yo. I think the two on sub, thank you, Grumpy, the two on sub, thank you, thank you, thank you, the battle pass. Give me the cowboy bebop skins and stickers. Oh, my God. I'll tell you this much. I do love that, uh, when the game launched with Kiriko, I believe, um, Kiriko was locked behind the battle pass, which I think is just such a cool idea. By the way, I know I praise this game nonstop, but Helldivers 2 has it right. Buy a battle pass for like 10 bucks and you can unlock it forever. It is in your, it is in your inventory. You can just, you can just take forever to unlock it. There's no rush. There's no problem. Just take your time. Then you can buy it whenever. You're never locked behind it. You, th th whatever. Oh, and all the currency in the game you can get, you can get from playing the game. So you don't even need to buy it really. A simple character recolor takes almost four weeks. Holy shit. All of this means that it will take you around 327 years to get all the stuff you could get relatively quickly for free in Overwatch 1. God, I love money. <laughs> Better get playing. I love it. Also, there's now a new hero every other season. Cool hero! Cool design! I love Ramatra, right? Ramatra? Cool! And they'd be locked behind the later levels of the season pass. Mm, pay to win. If Blizzard got really good at one thing, it's pay to win. And don't but listen, it's just delicious. <laughs> Yum Daisies! How are you? Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? Hi, Corey, how are you? Welcome in. Your options are spend every minute of your life grinding for them. Yep. Or pay up. Give me money. <laughs> Give me money. One, they were unlocked straight away. Yes. Fans don't take kindly to these changes. But then in May 2023, Blizzard comes out again. <laughs> They're just like covered in piss and like beat up like, hey, it's us, it's Blizzard. Hey. No, Aether, that's why I love Helldivers. Because again, you can just get the battle pass or whatever, and then you can just unlock it whenever. Forever. You're never, you're never, you're never, uh, there's no FOMO. You can just do whatever with it. So... That PvP hero campaign uh -huh. that we've been advertising. Oh, and I, yes. Yeah. You know what? It's all worth it if we can play the PvE mode. It's all worth it. The breast milk incident, uh, the bad remasters, the bad games, the declining World of Warcraft sub count, the, uh, uh, the, the fall of Overwatch League, the fall of the esports leagues in general, the banning of that one guy, uh, the disasters with the uh, lawsuit, uh, the falls of... All worth it. If I could just, you know... <laughs> All worth I can play Overwatch PvE, PvE. You know what I'm saying? It's pretty much the sole reason we made the sequel in the yep, first place. Yep, yep, Pretty much completely scrapped. No more talent trees or hero missions. Instead, we're just going to pepper some PvE missions around every few seasons. I want to die. <laughs> what? What the f This was essentially the entire selling point. They're gonna the They're gonna have this if it's Some followed. of the remaining story content is still planned with yep. its first release Whoa. on August 10th. Wowie zowie. August 10th. I can't wait. But when it finally releases, uh -huh. it's only three missions. Woo! Blizzard is saying the game won't be getting any more story missions until at least 2024. Holy shit. Wait, actually? But that long? Okay. You add Overwatch 2 to Steam, okay. and it instantly becomes the worst reviewed game of all time. <laughs> Oh, I knew we'd talk about it. Their last title. Listen, I did play this game. And for about 10 minutes, I enjoyed it. 100 bucks, I won't get back, though. The year is now 2023. Yep. And Blizzard's reputation has never been worse. Correct. So when Diablo Died launch, yep. approaches, people are cautious. But on the... Just so effing boring. 100 bucks? Listen, the last time I'll ever get that. I, I spent like that $80 on the on the Big Boy Edition. I was, I was, I just, I was so foaming for a good ARPG that I, I, I messed up. I slipped. I, I let my, my nostalgia of Diablo 2 get the better of me.
I'll admit it. 5th of June, the game launches. And it's surprisingly good. At first. There were some issues here and there, but reviews are mostly positive. At first. And over 10 million people log in and play. At, by the way, they, and I will die in this hell, they developed Diablo 4 with the casual, like, the casual 9 to 5 work person in mind. They wanted you to come home, boot up the Xbox, and play an hour after work to detox. This was not developed with a, a, a gamer in mind. A game that you can just binge out. This is designed for your average your average Joe, which is fine, but it's not Diablo 2. Making Diablo 4 Blizzard's fastest selling game of all time. True. For the first time in years, yep. things are actually looking up. Okay. And this game was live service, meaning it would receive free seasons of content for the foreseeable future. Ah, uh, sure would. I'm sure that won't go bad. The first of which was launching in July. The seasons! A there month later, and in July, season one of the game drops. All right! Let's do it! It is disastrous. What? No! And Reddit goes into a complete meltdown. Turns out, everything gets a big nerf. Everything got nerfed. By the way, um... You know what? I'll just let him explain. I'll just let him explain. Because everything got nerfed. Everything got gutted. It's It, it made the game harder... For no reason. I'm not kidding. They literally designed the game at that point to be grindier. That's not a joke. That's to their own omission. They made it grindier on purpose. They nerfed the fun out of the game. Including the Metacritic score. Oof. The Sorcerer class, which was already underpowered, yep. is hit especially hard. <laughs> then there's the enemies being overpowered. Yep. Much less XP. Yep. A bunch of reskinned dungeons and enemies. <laughs> Barely any. <laughs> they literally removed the fun from the game content and zero quality of life change before yep xp nerfs the xp people literally it took like so much longer to get the goddamn max level just everything here is wrong <laughs> one streamer on twitch tries to explain why the season isn't that bad sure here's how that goes this explosion is at i actually just lost my hardcore character while trying to explain this to you i changed my mind i hate this season and it seems <laughs> That's poetic. Because <laughs> Blizzard also has a bit of a fixation on the Battle Pass. Battle Pass. The Battle Pass. Battle Pass. Battle Pass. Oh my god, it's 2024, brother! People are people are wise to FOMO. It's 2024. People are wise to FOMO now. They know that if a game has a battle pass, they don't want to play it. People are tired of feeling like the game that you're playing is a second job. They are tired of it. They don't want your battle passes. They don't want your FOMO. They don't want to launch the game and feel like if they don't play it, they're behind. They're over it. It's just, it's a, it's a job now. It's no longer fun. Stop. Stop. If you want to monetize. Okay. I'm doing this again. I'm doing it again. I'm doing it again. I'm doing it again. I'm sorry. I'm doing it again. Helldivers. I, sorry. If you want to monetize your game, make a good game. Do you know why I buy this stuff in Helldivers? Because I effing love Helldivers. That's why. Can you say a job now? What do you mean? Bro, if I play a game, it's to chill out. To vibe. To have a good time. Why do you think games like uh, Helldivers are popping off? Lethal Company? Uh, Supermarket Simulator? People just want to have fun. They, they don't stop at the FOMO. I don't need a goddamn battle pass, bro. If you want to sell skins... Look at Overwatch 1. No battle pass. Loot boxes. A intrinsically outdated system. But people still bought them because they love the characters. They love the lore. They love the game. It's so annoying! Games are saying, uh, job. What does it mean to stream then? Uh, just chatting. Shut up, you. Pass battle pass. Speaking of which, it gives paid players 666 platinum. I don't know what that means. The cheapest item in the store is 800. Ah. Papa, can you hear me? Hi, Bo. How are you? Hi, Bo. Hi. Ah, the old, uh, the old Fallout 76 trick, baby. Let's go. Okay. Also, back when Blizzard was designing the menus for the game, they decided to place the Activate Premium Battle Pass button right next to the button you're constantly pressing to see your season progression. Ooh. Is that real? 
<laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, 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 I think I finished the uh, consoles. I have a large like, live service app. It's, it's just live service slot. Exactly. So, I never got to MMOs. Uh, Guild Wars following a second job to me. I MMOs used to be. Oh, hi. What's up, Mari? Yes. He takes, tonight he takes his 8 hour, his 12 hour, and his 24 hour. Okay, got it. Thank yeah. you. Uh, 24 hour every night. Got it. Sorry, we're talking about Louis' medicine. <laughs> but, um, yeah, no. Uh, uh, what was I saying? What was I saying? What was I saying? Point is, there are ways to monetize your game without making it pay to win and without making it, like, you could do cosmetics and not have it be a goddamn mess. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, that's kind of small. There's also no confirmation button. So if you want to check your progression and accidentally misclick, uh -huh. congratulations, you've just purchased it. Yep. There are multiple Woo! other confirmation buttons for other menu options. It, it, this is just so scummy. It's in the game. I never gave on the full game I paid for it. Correct. Correct. Well, that's also a big reason why uh, uh, single player games have been popping off so much lately. It's all people are tired of live service. Look at uh, the Justice League game. That game didn't need to be live service. They just want to sell skins and a battle pass. I'm just saying. People are tired so of it. Blizzard's last few years haven't been great. Somehow, Blizzard is now worse than Bethesda. It's, it's, that is... That's a... I, that's, that's, that's true, actually. Yeah. I actually enjoyed Fallout 4 and the DLC for it. I didn't play 76, though. What else has Bethesda done lately? Yeah, it's an oof. That's an oof for me. Slowly become clear to people. With overreach from Activision, yep. more fiscal concern, yep. and most of the original talent having left the company, True. among other things. Maybe Blizzard wasn't the company it once May he rest. It was. And after a back-to-office mandate in 2023, even more talent is leaving. Dude. I, I do. I, I'll, I'll get my final th thoughts here a bit. So much talent. That yes, Vinny, there was. There was. Actually creating okay, what's up? That game has more problems than just the live service part, but I agree. Fair. SQ Kill the Justice League is not how I want Arkham Batman Correct. to end. Correct. Correct. Also, Bethesda did recently Starfield. Oh. I heard that show was just boring. I basically already. I heard that show was boring. We're creating crisis maps, and we cannot stop. That is the lost capacity. Of Wait, what? Basically, I follow. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Last thought. Some talent is undermining the point. We are creating crisis maps of what we can and cannot ship. That is the last capacity we are facing. I load up the schedule. I strike out as people hand and notice. Holy shit. In crisis maps for what content they can and oh. can't get done. But with the... For, for those who know what that means, they have schedule plans. This guy does, right? This person does. And he, this person's expecting people to quit. And he this person has contingency plans for when they quit. That's how bad... Blizzard is right now. Acquisition from Microsoft, who's currently focusing on making good exclusives to slap on their Game Pass. Yep. Some fans are hopeful for change. No. But for now, the outlook on Blizzard Entertainment remains bleak. I'm gonna give you my final thoughts here in a moment. I, 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 also, doubt, War Thunder used this person's code. This was my big boss. This is awesome. Uh, great video. I don't think Activision will save Blizzard. I think Blizzard, sorry, I don't think um, uh, Microsoft will say Blizzard Activision. I do not think another corporation having their hand in the pie will save the company. I think Blizzard. You better kneel down and pray to Jimmy with me right freaking now. I think Blizzard has sunk. They put a hole in their ship the moment they merged with Activision because Activision took over. Bobby and his goon squad put their hands in the entire pie saying this is how you should make it. And... We're just tired of it. We aren't going to accept... If you are, if you are, which by the way, you should not do this. You should not ignore the literal allegations that happen in the company. They are real. They did happen. People need to go to jail, but they won't. If you ignore all that, which you shouldn't, again. They just not made good games or good choices in a while. It is... It is since Blizzard, Overwatch 2 has just proven to be unplayable dog shit. Um, World of Warcraft has been in decline for years. There, I'm telling you, it's going to take one more good MMO to put World of Warcraft out of business. And it's like, not out of business, but it will, it will, it will stunt them. Like the, once there's competition, it's over. I want me to know it's a decade, 
they've been on the decline for a minute. They still make money, but it's not. Um, it's not. They are. When I, if, if Blizzard were to announce World of Warcraft two, might be the only game I would play from them. But I'm not going to play more of their expansions. If they announce StarCraft three, I won't play it. I don't trust them anymore. Diablo five, I won't play it. Uh, Overwatch three, no, I don't care. Don't care. I'm over their games. I'm over their lies. It's all about money and shareholders. I am going to stick to good games from now on. You're saying? I don't think that's worse. Slow. That's how that works. Blizzard is Menlo YA. True. Uh, I miss loot boxes. It's a sad day when you hear that, doesn't it? Uh, Alfred Nintendo is a wow player base, and they caught caught restarted. The I think Final Fantasy XIV. If they ever make a new Final Fantasy, that is like. I don't know. If they make a new MMO Final Fantasy, I think it's over for World of Warcraft. World of Warcraft is hanging on by a thread. People are just bored of it. World of Warcraft is so formulaic and lame now. And every raid is a god dang... I'm not going to get into World of Warcraft right now. But just know that I sincerely think that Blizzard's decline... It's just... It's sad, man. It's sad, but... Oh, well. Hey. Indie games, baby. Indie games, baby. <laughs> Indie games, baby, let's go!